Hello everyone. Here I would like to demonstrate how our software works in its beta version. So first of all, here we see the login page and what I'm going to do here first is to log in. Uh, but if you're not uh, registered yet, you have to sign up first. And as soon as you sign up, you have to basically uh, confirm your email and then you can uh, get to your projects. So first of all, what one needs to create a successful annotation project is to have some team members. And this is what you first do when you register in our website. Um, so here you can see that we have a team name, team description, and also one can add the other team members. So here you see already I have a few team members. Some of them are admins, some of them are not. So as soon as you have a team, uh, you can basically already create a project. And here is the project tab. You can see here that we have created two projects, project one and project two. Here we also see that I'm admin in all two projects. So as soon as you create a project, you can basically um, see that you can upload images. This is quite important part in image annotation, of course. And here you can see that uh, not all the images were not started, so each image has a status. And also you can basically search images, filter them by their assignee, by their uh, status, by their uh, whether it was predicted or segmented. But about this a little bit later. And another important part, uh, just to mention that this is the corresponding to the pixel project, one can have a segmentation or smart prediction of our images. In this case, we, this check sign shows that the segmentation was completed. And this, since there is no check sign here, there is no prediction so far in this image. So what else is needed to create a successful uh, project is basically to assign images to annotators. For example, I can, let's say, assign those images as an annotator and with a certain name. So once you set up the name list of the people, you can basically assign to the tasks. And also what you need is basically, if you need smart segmentation or prediction, you should run it beforehand. Another point is to create classes. And this is the tab here on top. Here you see that we created just three like example classes like car, truck, and road, one can create as many classes as one wants, also can upload the JSON file of classes immediately. And also one have to create some project details like the name, description, what kind of project it is. And in another important part is basically you can assign roles to the people in your project. So let's say I assigned Vahan in a team name as a customer because as a customer of the project, you want to see what's going on. And we also assigned other team members as administrator, annotator, or a QA. So basically, you have all your team set up, your images and classes set up. And this is where you can already start doing an annotation. So to do an annotation, what we have to do is basically as it's set up, go to this button annotate. And when you click this, you appear here. And first thing I want to demonstrate is how our pixelwise tool works. And pixelwise tool is used for uh, semantic and panoptic segmentation uh, tasks. And for that, we have actually our own image segmentation algorithm that allows to select objects with uh, just clicks. So for example, if I want to select this car, uh, one has to just go through this and then you can just name it or you want to select this car you have to just go through this so it's quite simple and easy there is a tool a toolbox part and there is a labeling part and here you see that there are many different number of segments you can change it so you can uh, correct or segment every, the smallest details and then you can basically name them. 
Another cool part of this is the manual correction tools. For example, in this car, you, in case if you were picky and you really want to select this uh, mirror, you can always use a polygon correction. Use your mouse basically to add it into your uh, car. So this is quite simple and straightforward. You can also do the same with the brush tool. Um, so another cool part here is uh, this eyedropper tool. For example, if there are too many objects that you don't want to name one by one, you can always select them first. Um, for the sake of uh, speed, I will not uh, focus on the accuracy here. But uh, basically, this allows to annotate objects much faster. So with this, we can basically pick the label from one object and then send it to the others. So it's just to accelerate, even further accelerate the annotation process. Also, you can uh, comment uh, on the image. So it's a good communication between the QA and an annotator. So I think I'm done here with showing this tool. So I'll quickly go to other tool, which is the vectorize tool. And this is the project two, one I created here. So all the project creation steps are similar. It's just uh, one thing is different that here we only run smart predictions in case if one wants it. There is no segmentation in the vectorize tool. So as soon as the project is ready, one can basically start the annotation process, which we can show it here. And here we basically address all the annotation tools that currently exist. For example, you know, building a line or creating a smart, uh, well, not smart, but like a, like a polyline. So once you're uh, scribbling, you automatically create points here. And you can create polygons. So what you have to do is every time you create a polygon at the end, you have to double click on the point. So then it will create a closed loop. And then you can name it on the right panel. Also like the standard bounding boxes, um, uh, ellipses, so all the current annotation tools that uh, projects are done or point annotations. As you see, I haven't labeled them here. It's just for demonstration, but you can always label them later. For example, this is a class two. And another important part I want to mention is this. Again, you again have this eyedropper tool. You have this uh, uh, like a measuring the size tool for example in some projects you have to really annotate pro objects which are in a certain size or not less than a certain size so you can measure that here and of course the commenting and communicating so um, another important tool i want to demonstrate is the templates here for example I would like to demonstrate that in this tool. So for example, in, if you want to annotate human skeleton objects, you can basically uh, attach it immediately here. You don't have to do it point by point and name it. And this basically increases the chance of not doing a mistake and makes this process as fast as possible. And for all these tools, actually, we have a uh, smart predictions where if we pre-train the models you can always predict and then you will have a very little corrections at the end and it gets less and less with more annotations and just to demonstrate that uh, with the same image of cars we did this segmentation and you can see here that uh, so let's see so here it already predicted some cars and so you can always correct and add more annotations. So here, for example, this was trained on more closed cars and here it didn't catch well, so one has to additionally annotate, but it still speeds up the annotation. Um, 
So what else I have? So important part here is not a, as, as soon as you are done with annotations, you can save it or save a next, which basically sends this to the QA. So this is quite important that there is this communication between the annotator and QA. Here I would like to also show, like this is a list of images, you can always filter them by the assignee, by the annotation status, or by whether it's predicted or not, etc. So that's basically it. Uh, what else I wanted to show some maybe bonus features that we're adding right now. So this is the dashboards where you can basically track the annotators. It basically gives analytics of how each annotator is working. Uh, based on the speed, how many instances created, for example, how many finished images they did, how many uh, uh, work hours they did every day. So you can always do this analytics and this is going to be integrated soon. And this is part of the old tool so far. And we will also have some quality assurance system where there will be like this uh, standard uh, benchmark annotations that will be given to each annotator and the quality will be checked. Also the prediction of, we can, you can also upload your prediction models. So when you start doing annotation, it will already be quite fast from the beginning. So uh, that's basically, this is the current tool. So and we're looking forward uh, for you to test. Thank you.